The demonstration you are about to see has safety risks. Because of these risks, I am wearing closed-toed shoes and safety goggles. The demonstration should only be done by a trained professional and should not be tried at home. Skin contact with liquid nitrogen can cause tissue freezing, resulting in severe damage to your skin. Thus, direct skin contact with liquid nitrogen should be avoided. Furthermore, liquid nitrogen can vaporize quickly at room temperature and rapidly displace the oxygen in the room. Because of this hazard, care should be taken to avoid large spills and to work with liquid nitrogen in a properly ventilated area. Hi, my name is Kevin Karen, and I'm a professor in the Chemistry and Biochemistry Department at James Madison University. And I'm going to show you a demonstration today called Shrink a Balloon. We're going to start with a balloon. So we have a nice red balloon here. And I was always told when I was a kid that you're supposed to stretch the balloon before you blow it up. I'm not sure if that actually helps, but it's hard to break tradition. So I'm going to blow it up. Go a little bit bigger than that. Do a little bit more. Okay. Let's tie it off here. Okay, so we have our nice red balloon here blown up, and I'm going to set that on this blue container. And in this beaker here, in this doer, I have liquid nitrogen. Nitrogen is a very common substance. It uh, makes up the majority of the air in our atmosphere. Um, in its liquid form, it is very, very cold. The boiling point of liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees Celsius. So minus 196 degrees. And it's very, very cold. And you can see a little bit of uh, vapor coming off of here. I'm going to pour this gently onto the balloon. And in a second, we'll see some of the liquid come out. Oh, there's a little bit of the liquid. What's going to happen as I pour it onto the balloon, it's going to chill the balloon. It's going to start to cool the gas inside the balloon. And as that gas cools, since the temperature goes down, the volume of gas inside that balloon is also going to decrease. So the balloon contracts. I'm going to pour quite a bit of liquid nitrogen on here to make sure it's pretty far down. Makes a nice crinkling sound too as we do this. Alright. So we've contracted the balloon. We've shrunk it down pretty far. Now I'm going to reach in here with a pair of tongs. I'm going to pull out our shrunken balloon. And as soon as I start pulling it out, it starts warming up. And you can see, I'm going to set it here on the, on the table. As it's warming up, it's going to start expanding. The gas inside warms up and expands. Also makes a nice sound as it's, well, as it's warming back up. And if we give it a moment or two, it will be back to approximately its original size. And there we go. We have shrunk and re-expanded a balloon. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Kevin Karen, and I'm coming to you from the chemistry department at James Madison University.